hook I am using today is a Gamagatsu SS15 in size 1 aught, and the thread is Danville's 210 flat waxed in chartreuse. Trim off a large clump of chartreuse craft fur and clean up the under fur. Then measure the fur to about two times the length of the hook. Now tie it in tightly so it engulfs the hook shank. Trim off the waist at an angle and trim the waist ends even more. This will allow a smooth taper to the body. Now clip off about 10 strands of pearl flashaboo and wipe down with wet fingers to keep the strands together. Tie in at the center of the clump and fold the front over and tie in rearward as well. Use your finger to flare out the strands a bit. Now trim, clean, and measure out a clump of white craft fur to about the same length as the chartreuse. Tie that in on top of the other materials. Trim off the waist at an angle and trim these ends up as well. Now make multiple tight wraps to really lock those fibers in. I like adding some head cement for durability. Make a dubbing loop and add some dubbing wax. Now pull out some hot yellow starburst dubbing and pull apart the fibers to align them. Cut the fibers in half and mix together again. Put the dubbing into your dubbing loop and separate the fibers as evenly as possible. Add your dubbing twister and twist up your loop. It's always good to pick out the trap fibers. Now make tight wraps with the dubbing loop up the hook shank. Make sure and pull the fibers rearward with every wrap. Tease out the fibers, then wrap back onto the dubbing tightly, just enough to flare the fibers out slightly. Now wrap your thread back up the hook shank to about two eye lengths from the head. Then attach a dumbbell eye to the top of the hook shank. Do this with tight X wraps, then tight under wraps to really lock that in place. I always like to add super glue to the eyes for added stability. Now pull out some white arctic wind and pull the fibers apart. Tie it in right behind the dumbbell eyes and right on top of the hook shank. Do the same thing to the underside of the fly with some hot yellow arctic wind.
Bring your thread up in front of the dumbbell eyes and add some more hot yellow arctic wind. Rotate your fly and add some more white arctic wind on top of the fly. Pull all the fibers rearward and make a small thread dam in front of them to keep them facing rearward. Now you can whip finish your fly. To keep the thread secure, I like adding Solares bone dry UV curing resin to the head. Angle your fly backward and paint the resin over your thread. Then cure the resin with your UV light. I like this stuff because it is thin enough to penetrate the wraps, and it cures quickly without any tackiness. Now, tease out the fibers to get them mixed properly. Then brush the fibers with a stiff toothbrush. First forward, then back rearward trying to form a good bait fish profile. Sometimes it's easier doing it off the vise. And there we go, the fly is finished. Of course, it would fish hook point up, great for keeping it from snagging on weeds. This fly is great for bass. We caught this nice small mouth on last trip with one, along with many other smaller fish. This fly would also be great for pike and large trout. The fly moves really nicely in the water, and sort of has a breathing type action. The craft fur flows behind the fly and the arctic wind really blends nicely back into the craft fur tail. Like always, I have links in the description section to where you can find these materials. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Now, it's time for you to go catch some fish. See you next time.